Hey, I'm Maria Sharapova. Just kidding. I'm Rebecca, but welcome to Evolve Tennis One. Now, man, I love tennis. It's one of the most played sports worldwide. It welcomes all ages, all skill levels, and you can play this throughout your entire life, but you don't need to be a tennis player to benefit from and enjoy this workout. Because although it is specifically designed to help improve your tennis game, these same primal movements can be found in all facets of life. So let's do this. Take your hands all the way up overhead. We're gonna rotate over to the right, reach back behind you, lift the heel, back through center, rotate over to the left, lift the heel, back through center, a little bit speedier right now. Lift, up, and twist, center, and twist, center, good work. Four more, and three, last two, and one. Hold your hands all the way up, bring them out to the side. Your hands go in, up, in, out. We gotta warm those shoulders up today. Hands go in, up to the sky, in and out. This workout is going to work on those tennis fundamentals. Now many of these movements you've seen in strength, core, and agility, so you should be familiar with many of them. If not, let the tutorials break them down for you. Let's hold the hands out, bring them forward, and then turn the palms away from one another. Palms in, palms out. Start to really Manipulate the shoulders, the back, the chest, all together. Couple more, start to inhale. Inhale, exhale, push. Inhale, exhale, push. Last two, last one. Hold the arms out, Egyptian arms right here. I want you to bring your knee up to your elbow. And a cross crawl twist. Waking up the core, start to incorporate the legs. So you're gonna have three mods here. Now mod one is gonna be the easiest, all the way up to mod three, which is gonna be the hardest. Why don't you guys keep going right here, start to warm that heart rate up, yeah? Yeah. Good. So this is Bartek over here in Mod 1. Now he's going to be giving you the most basic movements, and once you feel comfortable with Mod 1, I want you to come see Kamar in Mod 2. I just like sugar for Kamar. <laughs> he's going to hold it down for you, so as soon as you're ready to move from 1 to 2, check him out. Our most challenging mod is Mod 3, which Ray Lynn is going to show you today. But if that is too hard, mod down and find Kamar back in Mod 2. You can evolve up or mod down depending on your level. Let's go ahead and take our hands down by our side and start to take a jog right here. Shake out the wrists. We're gonna have rackets in our hands, yeah? Whether you're on or off the court, I want you to picture a racket in your hand. So we're gonna start manipulating the wrist and all the fingers, all the extensors in your digits. And I want you to reverse it. A couple more right here. Feels good, right? Yeah. Waking up your fingers. All that texting, baby, right? Take your arms in, start to let the hands come up. Taking the heart rate up with you as we go through this. Keep it up, guys. I want you to take the feet a little bit wider, get a little lower, start to march it out in place. Keep the chest up and really just lift the heels. So this set is gonna have two rounds of seven exercises with a cardio blow at the end of each round. It's gonna be 90 seconds of fun. Couple more right here. Take the feet nice and narrow. Take the chest up nice and tall. Hands on the hips, we're gonna go forward. We're gonna go side and back. Just a little tap. It goes front, side, back. Again, front, waking up the legs, side, back. And we'll do the same on the other side. Step it together, left side forward. Side, back. Get a little bouncy on those toes. You're gonna have to change direction in a lot of the movements that you're doing today. So why not get started right in that warm-up? You got four, three, two, one. Big breath in, exhale the hands down, and that ends our warm-up. We're gonna get right into our first round of set A today. So I want you to take your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart, hands up overhead, take a nice deep squat down for two, hold for one, lift, over to the side. Down for two, hold for one, and lift, and hold, this is your teapot squat. Down, down, hold, lift, hold. Flex up that foot, it's gonna help you keep your balance. Let's get started in three, two, one. So you're gonna see Bartek in mod one right here have his hands on his hip. Now he's still getting that balance on his foot. Shifting his weight from side, center, to the right, down through center, and over to the left. Can you take your hand off your hip for a little high five? There it is. Hey, why not, right? I'm always coming for some sugar. Mod two right here, hands are out in front. I want you reaching forward with your hands, but I want your shoulder blades drawing back. Now you're gonna see his hands come out in front of him, and then as he goes over to the side, his hands come up, 
and travels with his body. So he's one straight line. Look at this. It's a beautiful, nice diagonal. Stellar. You have three, two, one, and let's move right along into our lunge with our twist. I want your hands in waking position. So fingers right behind those ears. Elbows press back, open up the chest, step forward the right leg. You're gonna twist, hold one, two, back and up. Down, twist, one, two, center and lift. Alternating sides. Three, two, one, here we go team. Down one, twist, hold, hold, center and switch. Down, twist, hold, hold, center and lift. So you're alternating sides right here. Now you're gonna see Rayland keep the 90 degree angle. She's not gonna let her knee go past that angle. Mod three, we stop in 90 degree angle. Knee over the ankle, knee under the hip. I want you to stop at a certain point so that you're not surpassing that joint, right? Same goes for mod one and mod two. Although they're only lunging at a 30 degree and 60 degree angle, the rule is the same. Keep that knee directly above the ankle to avoid potential injury. Go one more down. Knee directly over the ankle. That was a sweet spot right there. That's three, two, one. She knew it. Relax, guys. Come on up. We're going into a reaching side lunge. Hands come up overhead, thumbs back. Shoulders are behind you, nice and wide in the chest. We're going to come over to the right. Reach outside of that right leg. Back up overhead, outside of the left leg. Back up overhead. Time starts in three, two, one. If you need it broken down, go check out the tutorials. Jana's going to break it down for you. Now, Mod 1 is reaching across his body to hip height and is lunging about 30 degrees to accomplish this. In the more challenging Mod 3, the reach is again all the way across the body, but she's extending towards the foot and her 90 degree lateral lunge is allowing her to do this. In between, we have Mod 2. What I want you to see right here is Kamar comes left. His lunge goes into that 70 degree lunge. Come right back up. Nice hold right there. Thanks for maintaining that. Let's do it again. There's a 70 degree lunge over to the left. Let's hold it. Three, two, just kidding, keep going. <laughs> nice work. You guys get three, two, one. Excellent job right there. Moving into our traveling squat. So I want you to take your hands up overhead. I want you to come down into a squat. We're gonna travel two times to the right. One, two, left, one, two. Now, get ready to feel the burn because we're not coming out of this. Let's go in three, two, one, and begin. So we're staying down in the squat the entire time. This is an isometric hold that we're just traveling side to side. We're waking up our body in this lateral plane. On a daily basis, we traditionally move front, we ride our bicycles, we sit in a car, we sit at the table, we sit at our desk. Everything happens in front of us. Nothing happens to the side of us. So now we're actually gonna start to incorporate this lateral movement in our body. Hey Bartek, how's it going? Oh, it's going. How do those legs feel? Starting to burn a little. Good. Legs are talking back to you guys. Oh yeah, just a little. It doesn't matter if you're only squatting to 30 degrees in mod one, 60 degrees in mod two, or 90 degrees in mod three. This is a challenging exercise that's gonna prepare you to get the ball at any point on the court. Let's three, two, one, shake it out. Here comes the hay baler, man. Take the feet out nice and wide. I want you to come down outside of that right thigh, grab hold tight, throw it up over that left shoulder. Down, lift, down, lift. You're gonna stay on this right hand side until you to switch. Let's go ahead and start in three, two, one, get started. Now, it doesn't matter what mod you're in, whether you're squatting at 30, 60, or 90 degrees, I want you to contract your muscles and imagine you're actually handling that bale of hay. So typically, a bale of hay weighs between 60 and 75 pounds. That's more like it. <laughs> Thank you. Switching sides right here, let's go to that left side. I need to see you throw 65 pounds pounds of pure hay. Amazing. You'll be prepared at any time. But th just think about that backhand right now. If you're a righty, maybe if you're a lefty, it's that straight up forehand. You've got to generate that force and it comes right from that rotation right there. You have three, two, one. Excellent. Come on down to your belly. We're going into our prone snow angel. So we're going to take your face and I want you to look down at the floor. Arms are going to come down by the side of your body. We're going to lift all the way up into a Superman. Open up the arms and the legs. Close everything back up. So we're going to open up, close it back in. Three, two, one, and let's begin. In mod three, we stay nice and lifted. The back side of the body keeps you up off the ground. Now Raylan 
She's a dancer, man. You can tell right here, yeah? The flexibility in her spine is there and it's able to really maintain this nice lifted position. If you're not gonna have as much flexibility in your back, that's okay. You can still be strong in your back and start to lift on an exhale. So I want you to inhale for me on the arms out, inhale. On an exhale, I want you to lift a little higher. So she can even get a little higher right here too. That's beautiful. Use your breath, it's gonna help you. You ever see those tennis players? That's their breath and it starts right here. You have three, give me a breath. Two, exhale, and one, nice work. Okay guys, coming into our crunching bird dog. I want you on all fours right here. Go ahead and tuck the toes under. We're gonna go ahead and lift that right arm out to a 45 degree angle. Left leg back behind you. Crunch the elbow to the knee and extend it back out. In, 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 out, out, out. Three, right side, two, one, here we go. So the tempo is out, hold, in, hold. Stay on this right side. You have about 15 more seconds on this right side. Inhale the arm all the way out, exhale the arm all the way in. So you're gonna see in mod two right here, he's extending all the way out, but he's not gonna quite touch his elbow to his knee. Go ahead and switch sides. What's happening in mod one? Arm reaches out first, leg reaches out second. Do it again, arm reaches out first, leg reaches out second. So you're still finding one, two, and three points of contact with the floor at all times. Whenever you're lifting one limb off the floor, or even two, it's the core doing the work. You have three, two, one, and that's it right there, guys. First blowout, I want you to stand it up. You got single leg side bounds and semi-squat rotators. It looks like this. You're gonna have a racket in either hand, depending on the side that you're going to. Reaching over, reaching over, right to left. And I want you to balance on each landing. Semi-squat rotator, clasp hands right here, shoulders down and back, rotate right, left, right, left. Make sure your hair doesn't smack you in the face, okay? No excuses, let's make it count. Three, two, one, let's go. Over to the right, over to the left. Now, you can see her really jump it across. I want you to back it up just a little bit. I want you to get in the center of your space right here, and I want you to use the entire thing. Get to the outside, outside, either one, that's it. Come on, keep it up. You have about 10 more seconds and we're gonna go into our rotator. Your core is gonna love this, I promise. Every single hit becomes so much easier. We wake up the back side of the body and use it with the core at the same time. Three, two, one, let's go right here. Clasp those hands, rotate it right and left. Make sure that there's no rocking in those knees. I need the knees to stay forward. No rocking in the knees. Sink down in the hips, back, hips back a little bit. Knees over the ankle, pull your butt back behind you. There it is, that's much better. Form counts even in blowouts. I need everything you guys, give it to me right here. Can you go a little faster? Just a tiny bit, that's it. Keep the intensity up. Three, two, one, right side. Bounce, hold it, hold it here. Three, two, one, right, hold it. Three, two, one, left, right, left, right, left, right, hold it, four, three, two, test it, left, go, four, three, two, back to rotators, clasp it, finish right here, you have seven seconds, make it count right here, power it up, completely side to side, you have three, you have two, one, and relax, excellent, excellent work, please grab yourself a sip of water, you just got yourself, 45 second break, sugar, Playing tennis is so much fun. You're not even gonna realize that you're going to increase your stamina, your muscular endurance, improve your overall performance, and it all starts right here. Right? We're already feeling our body waking yeah, already. up. already, I'm sweating. Sweating? Yeah. It's music to my ears. <laughs> it's like candy for my eyes. Okay, we got our second round of set A coming up. It's gonna start again with that teapot squat. I want each and every move to be bigger, better, and stronger the second round. You all ready? You got me, team? Let's do it. Hands up overhead. Take a nice deep squat down for two. Hold for one. Lift. Over to the side. Down for two. Hold for one. And lift and hold. Let's get started in three, two, one. Let's go down into that squat and we're gonna go over to the right first. So the hands don't stop at the body. They don't stop at the shoulder. They stop as she reaches to the left at her foot. It's connected. I want you to think that your right hand is connected 
to your left foot, inside of it. Now come through center and your left hand is connected to the inside of this right foot. You're gonna flex to it, and I can see that there's a difference between here and here. Extend out, become as long and wide as possible. Think about reaching for a shot. It's the difference between making it and not making it. I want you to get there and have the flexibility and know what it feels like before going for it on the court. Two, one, and relax. Let's go into our lunge with our twist. Hands behind your ears, elbows back, right leg comes forward, twist, one, two, center, and switch. Down, one, two, center, and switch. Here we go, three, two, one, let's begin. So you're gonna see a mod one right here that his hands are crossed on top of his shoulders. So as he drops down into this nice 30 degree lunge, he's exhaling and twisting, ready? So that was me breathing for you right here. Now I'd like to hear you breathe. Ready? That's it right there. Magic. Bartek, you're such a good student. Kamara's gonna breathe for me too. In mod two, hands are stacked one on top of the other, elbows in line with his shoulder. He's dropping down to a 60 degree lunge and he's alternating legs right here, exhaling on the twist. That's gonna say the same. What's different is the depth of the lunge, the range of motion, and the position of the arms. Float between your mods, see what works for you. You have three, two, one, and relax. Reaching side lunges up next. I want your hands all the way up overhead. Reach out towards the right, back through center. Reach out towards the left, up through center. Your time starts in three, two, one. Let's begin. The foot is key to proper form because all the power generated in the upper and lower leg is ultimately passed down through the foot. That's a lot of power to control and especially important for form when moving laterally. It's coming down into that lunge, it's pushing off, and maybe you'd even change directions right here. We're going side, center, side, center. You have about 20 more seconds. In mod two, again, hands come directly out in front of you, reaching over, the twist is still there. He's gonna hit me back here with his hand. Ready, opposite side, come through. Hit me back with your hand, find it. Aha, I gotcha, come back. You have one more right here, you guys. You got three, oh, two, last one. Excellent job. Hey, it was right there, right? Traveling squat. Hands up overhead, get nice and low. Two steps right, two steps left. Three, two, one, and let's begin. Traveling in your squat, you're on defense, right? You're not quite sure where the ball's headed, what the next move is. You gotta be able to read your opponent. And in the meantime, not feel like you wanna collapse because your legs are so tired. So the way we build up that endurance in your muscles is by staying in them. Let them engage, let them tire out. If you're in mod one, sink into that squat. Keep your hands on your hips. That's beautiful, Bartek. How are we feeling? Feeling good. Do you feel this, Raylan? She's like, I feel it, I'm over here. How about this? Are they burning yet? Oh yeah. Could you last another 30 yep. seconds if you yep. needed to? See, look at that. There's always room to progress. Arms out in front, lift the chest a little higher. That's beautiful. Three, two, one, and relax. Hay baler's coming up. Take the feet out nice and wide. I want you to come down outside of that right thigh. Grab hold tight. Throw it down. Throw it. Three, two, one. Right side, here we go. Actually, really helpful to use that breath. I never hear enough breath. More cowbell, let's go. Sit nice and low, up over the shoulder. Act like you mean it. I wanna see the same intensity in mod one as I see in mod three. Range of motion in the depth of the squat can be a little different, doesn't matter. The intensity stays the same. Switch sides right here. The weight of that hay is not gonna change. No matter if you're coming up to your shoulder, down to your hip, the intensity stays the same. You ready to show me? Ready? Oh. <laughs> Hey, Bartek, I need that hay to weigh more than your purse. <laughs> Three, Come on back. two, one. <laughs> Relax, guys. Okay, oh. prone snow angel, bring it on down. Take your hands back by your body. Lift up, and we're gonna go out into that snow angel. Bring it back, inhale the arms out on your exhale. Don't be afraid to lift a little higher every time. You have three, two, one, and let's begin. So go ahead and squeeze the shoulder blades together every single time you come back. Mod two right here, there's a pause at the bottom. Reach your arms out, reach them back, lower down. So it's a lift, sweep, pull, and lower. It's a lift, 
sweep, good pace. Back, lower down. Mod one right here, you're gonna see everything lower down and both the back and the front. There's a lower, there's a lift, there's a sweep, and a lower. The back side is definitely not as strong as the front side yet, but we're gonna make them nice and balanced. We gotta equal the body out right here. So we're walking around, right? Our shoulders are being held by our back, not the front. That's it, in three, two, one, and relax. It's a lot of breath going on there, I love it. Crunching bird dog, come on all fours, tuck the toes under, right arm, left leg, crunch in the center, extend out, crunch in the center, extend out. In three, let's do this together, two, and one. Here we go, inhale out, exhale crunch. Inhale out, hold, exhale crunch. Inhale, exhale. That exhale is gonna really help manipulate the core. Now you have to be able to make some room in the core for the abs to engage. So as you're going up, let's go ahead and switch sides, guys. Left arm, right leg. You're gonna see her core cave in and the spine contract up a little bit, right? So really exaggerate. That's what I'm looking for right here. The elbow and knee need to contract and actually touch. So that means bringing your spine up towards the sky and finding it's almost like doing a, a nice crunch or a sit up, but on all fours. Yeah. Three, two, one, and relax. Coming up, guys, it's our blowout single leg side bounds and semi squat rotators. Okay, I wanna start jumping to the right, and it's gonna be a five second pause. You ready? Ready. I'd like to let you know where we're going. Three, two, one, get your racket. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Left. Five, four, three, Two, one, to the right, over to the left, over to the right, over to the left. Come on, keep it up. Three, two, one, let's switch. Switch, switch. Singles, here we go. And right, left, right, left, pick it up. Right, left, get wide, right. You can get wider than that, right. Left, you have eight more seconds. Come on, come on. Bring it to the right. Push it. Left. Three, two, one. Semi squat rotate. Well, how are those legs, guys? That's a little better, right? Legs are on fire right now. Keep the shoulders back. When you bring your hands in front of you, I don't want you to contract forward. Roll the shoulders down and back, squeeze it up. Hips are nice and quiet, right? Get a little lower. There's no booty shaking going on here. Rotate that core. Hit my hand with your elbows. That's more like it. You have five. Back to the right jump in three. Slow hold, two, and one. Three second hold to the right, go. Three, two, one, left. Three, two, one, right. Two, one, jump. Two, one, right. Single, jump it. Single, jump it. Single, hold it. Single, hold it. Three, last, two, last, one. And that's it right there, up top. Excellent, excellent job. That's job, it, guys. Buddy. You are done. Congratulations. That was Tennis One Express. We got to get cooled down. Up top. Up top. Oh, Go man. grab some water. I will. <laughs> Everyone needs it, including you. You should have some water immediately. What a great sport. <laughs> Tennis doesn't just strengthen your body. It strengthens your mind, too. It improves your focus, it enhances your memory, and increases your ability to learn more quickly. You guys get ready to cool down? Yeah, yeah. Cool what do you down. say? Hands out to the side. Nice and slow right here. We're gonna reach up, lift the heel, down through center, lift the heel. I want you to reach really high up and over to the corner and not to the side. Up and out, side body stretch right here. Lift, final three, two, Last one, I want you to get a little low right here and I want you to march it out, nice and low. We can't just stop abruptly, we have to let the heart rate down, cool down gradually. Bring the feet nice and narrow, bring the feet nice and wide, bring it up, bring it down. Let's do that again, narrow, wide, up, down. A little quicker, last time, in, out, up, down, one time, in, out, up, down. Big breath all the way in. Interlace the fingers, press the palms up, reach it over to the right, up through center, over to the left, 
up through center. Pull your shoulder blades back behind you. Elbows almost trying to touch one another. We're gonna slide our hands to that left leg, flex the toe out to the side, and really let the inner thigh really stretch right now. Go ahead and lift up through center, turn your toe forward, slide your hand down your right thigh, turn your toe up to the side, and really stretch out the inner thigh of the left leg. Legs did a lot of work today. Feel them. Let's give them a little bit of love. Walk the feet together. Go ahead and take your right hand and your right ankle together. Just a quick stretch for the quads. They deserve a lot of love. Switch legs. Let's give our left quad some love too, guys. Gotta balance it out. This is it, guys. You have three, two, and one. Inhale the arms all the way up. Exhale the hands down to heart center and give yourself a big round of applause. Congratulations for completing Tennis One Express. Bring it in, team. I am Rebecca. This is my team. And thanks for playing with me in Evolve.